This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, Mike here, and welcome back to my channel. Well, today we're going to do a subscriber request, as I uh, quite often do, and today's question was whether I could model a cross, a Celtic cross to be exact, and we're going to do that in Maya, we're going to UV it, and we're going to texture it in Substance Painter, all right? So let's uh, check it out. Here we go. Okay guys, well today we're going to do a subscriber request as I mentioned in the intro and it's going to be a, a Celtic um, tombstone, okay? So we're going to model based on a reference image that we're going to use later on for a stencil. So let's start by loading that up. We're going to go to view, come on, image plane, import image, there we go, and that's the one, all right? Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a uh, polygon uh, cube, W to move that out like so. And then we're going to jump to this view. We're going to hit W, we're going to move that down to the lowest point. We're going to turn on our X-ray. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click and go to vertex, drag select these vertices bring that way way down and then take the whole thing and hit R and bring that way way in okay and then we're gonna work from there so we're gonna hit F to zoom in right click face control E to extrude we're gonna go back to this view we're gonna hit W to pull that up and R to scale out G to repeat, W to pull up, R to scale out, G to repeat, W to pull up. I'm not going to keep on repeating that so you know the deal. Okay. And I maybe even speed this section up. Okay guys, so um, that is that so far. We need to add a few elements here. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go to insert edge loop, option box, manual setting, that's good. And then what we'll do is we'll add an edge here, and an edge here. And uh, let's see if we can make that work. Yeah, that's fine. Up there is fine. And then we'll do one here and one there. Okay, cool. We're gonna hit Q on our keyboard. We're gonna right click at a face and we're gonna select the one, two, three, and four. We're gonna hit Control E to extrude, R to scale out, and we're gonna do that both ways like so. And we're not going to make that too nuts, so we'll do something like that because we are going to smooth this guy out. Okay, so we're going to go to object mode. Yeah, that's nice. Seems to look okay. We want the whole thing to be slightly bigger than our template here, so we're going to go to uh, edit, delete by type, history, modify freeze transformation. And we're going to go to modify and center pivot. And then we're just going to simply scale the whole thing up slightly. Okay, we're going to do a quick preview smooth. Let's see. Looks like we got a, a very, very slight 
issue here. Actually, it's not an issue. It's uh, it's fine. So I've got that. We are going to hit three to preview smooth, and as you can see, it needs some edges. So we're going to go in to our edge loops, and we're going to add one there and add one there, and that should pretty much fix that problem. So hit Q on our keyboard, right click object mode, three to preview smooth. Nice. Now we have this little line going on here. Let's see what the issue is there. So hit one to go back. And that is probably because of that edge right there. So we're gonna try and see if we can fix that. Object mode. Much, much better. Still slightly there here as well, but that's actually not too bad because it is a hand carved object. So we're gonna go with that, all right? So let's see, did I actually smooth it? No, not yet. So we're gonna go to mesh and smooth to do the actual smooth and we're good, okay? Now, uh, we need to UV this guy, so let's uh, quickly do that. We're gonna go to UV and do automatic projection. Then we're gonna go to UV and UV editor. Bunch of stuff going on there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, go to shell, drag select everything, and go to move and sew, which is a big blob, don't worry about it. Then we're gonna go in, and I'm gonna right click at edge. And I am going to double click on that edge and that should go all the way around and cut that. So cut UV edge and we'll do the same at this end. And hopefully that will work as well. Cut UV edges, yeah. Then we're gonna Right click and go to shell, select all of that and go to uh, unfold, which already looks a lot better. So we've got this and this, and this is our surrounding, and that one we can cut. So what we'll do is we'll go in, right click at the edge, select that edge row, and go to cut UV. So now if we right click and go to shell and drag right click everything and go to layout. Actually, let's unfold that first, sorry. All right, so now we can do the layout, right? Now this guy, we're gonna hit E to rotate and kind of level that out. And then we're gonna hit W and we're gonna move it up. And that's the side of our object here. I'm going to scale it out a bit so it gets more thickness. Then we're going to scale the whole thing in so it's in our zero to one space and hit W and move that up. And then we've got this guy, which is kind of warped. Um, let's see if there's anything we can do to clean that up a little bit. Yeah, it works a bit. And we'll do the same here. Okay, and then we'll kind of scale them to a point that they both fit. So let's see, what is my front here? That's my front, okay? So this guy, I'm gonna rotate around so we can kind of position them together. I'm gonna hit R to scale that down somewhat. And I'll take this guy, hit W and bring that in, okay? Cool, so that is our uv cross, all right? So I'm gonna right click at object mode. I'm gonna go to export selection, where to go. I don't know why sometimes you simply just cannot find that for whatever reason. Kind of weird, not oh, right here, okay. So we're gonna call this uh, cross OBJ, and I'm just going to save that on my desktop. Okay, 
Next thing we're going to do is we're going to convert this guy so we can use it as a stencil in Substance Painter. Okay, so let's jump into Photoshop. Here we go. Okay, guys, we're in uh, Photoshop. So I'm going to go to, uh, let's see, File and New. And no, not that. File and I can do that here as well. It's kind of slow because I got all sorts of stuff going on here. Let's give it a sec. Yep, and we'll do a, let's do an 800 by 800. Keep it square for our stencil. Okay, there we go. And then what we'll do is we'll make our background completely white. So I'll just uh, select a white color here. I'll select, uh, I'd like to do that with a brush. You can do a fill as well. Bring up that size. And there you go, complete white background, okay? Then we're gonna go to File and Place Embedded. We're gonna look for our cross image, which is black on transparent, like so. We can hold Shift and left click and drag if we want to make it slightly bigger and then position it in the middle, like so. And then we will hit Enter. We're going to select these two. We're going to go to layer and uh, link, uh, actually merge layers. There we go. And then we're going to go to, uh, let's see, invert, invert, invert. Where do you go? Uh, hang on. There it is. Image adjustments and go to invert. Okay. So this will work as our stencil. So we're going to go to File and Save As. We'll save it as a PSD, and I'll call it Cross Stencil. And I'll just save it on my desktop. And now it's time to jump into Substance Painter. Here we go. Alrighty, here we are. So we're going to go to File and New, and I'm going to leave this at a PBR Metal Rough as a standard. I'm going to hit select. I'm going to select my uh, cross OBJ that I created uh, and leave this at direct X. I'm going to leave the document resolution at 1024 and I'm just going to hit OK. So it will load up the cross that we created. Okay. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to bake our default maps. So we're just going to go down here to bake textures and I'm simply going to hit bake. Okay. So I'm not going to load any high poly. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to bake all the default maps. So when we add information, we have something to add it to. Um, as usual, because I hit bake everything and I'm missing some information to bake everything correctly, uh, I got some errors down here, but don't worry about it. So it's all done. We're going to go back to shelf. So here are our default maps. Okay. Now let's start by adding some basic material to this and tweaking that, and then we'll uh, bring in our stencil, okay? So I want to have a kind of a concrete uh, material. Let's see, I think it's in regular materials. Actually it is right here. So I'm just gonna drag that in and we'll have that apply. As you can see, it did that nicely. Uh, however, it's way too clean. Okay, so let's rough this up a bit. So we're going to make sure we got that selected and we're going to go in and we're going to increase the level of damage major, which I think is kind of appropriate. Uh, let's see, we can tweak the color a little bit if you like. We can make it a bit darker. Not quite sure whether that looks better. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so that's uh, kind of cool. Uh, then what we can do next is if we like, um, kind of add a paint effect to it. So we'll uh, go with a, uh, a regular layer. And then what we'll do is we'll take a brush and we'll go with a default. And then we'll select the soft brush. We'll make sure that it's um, nice and large. Let's look at the flow here. And we're gonna have to test that a little bit, but that's okay. 
and then we'll go into the color and here we're going to change that to green and let's just test that okay so what we're going to do is we're going to add some very very subtle coloration to this not too much just here and there okay and what we can do is bring it into the kind of brownish color. You know, whatever you feel is appropriate, okay? So we have that, now it's time to bring in our stencil. So what I'm gonna do is on my other screen, and you guys cannot see that, I have uh, the cross stencil. So I'm just gonna select it and drag it in and drop it in here, okay? It's gonna ask me if I want to use it just in this session, yes I do. So that's selected. And then I'm gonna rotate this guy so it's sitting correctly. I'm gonna hold down the Alt and the Shift key so it will jump to a straight position. And then, uh, let's see, we're gonna uh, use that soft brush and I am going to bring in the stencil and uh, this is called, uh, what do they call that thing? Cross. And that is our cross stencil, there you go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in a little bit and move it over and try to make this fit as best as possible. That is pretty close. Okay. Now what we need to do is make sure that the only thing that's impacted is the height and nothing else. So we're gonna turn off color. We're gonna turn off metal. We're gonna turn off, actually that's our normal. So let's turn all of that off and let's just test that, okay. So that's not what we want. Let's try the height map. And let's increase that. That's much better. Okay, that's what we're going for. So hit Control Z to go back. I want it to be a negative value, okay? I want it to cut into instead of go on top of. So let's have a look. Height looks okay, I guess. Yeah, it does, nice, okay. So now that we have that all set, let's position it the way we want it to be. And try to level that out a little. Okay, that's what we're gonna go with, all right? I'm gonna increase the size of my brush just a bit. And we're just gonna to start to add this. Okay. And that is pretty much all there is to it. Okay. With that done, I am going to go in and turn off my stencil. And here we have our Celtic Cross. Okay. Well, that's all there's to it, guys. So if you have any questions, let me know. And that said, as always, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.